Hello, my name is Richard and in this short video we want to explain how the different mechanisms on our riser recliner chairs work. That's the single motor tilt in space mechanism and the dual motor tilt in space mechanism. So firstly, how does the single motor tilt in space mechanism work? First you have a two button handset, really simple, just forward and back. And using the right hand button, first the legs rise up and then when the legs get to approximately 90 degrees the whole chair starts to tilt back. Now there's a couple of key things about this single motor tilt in space mechanism. Firstly the user has to have a good level of extension at the knees because as you can see the legs come first then it tilts. It's not possible to have the tilt on and the legs down. That's why the user needs to have a good level of extension at the knees. Also the angle between the seat base and the backrest is fixed. So what this means is there's no shear um, and that the pelvis is kept nice and stable when the user's in the back of the chair. However if you had a user that perhaps was sleeping in the chair or needed lots of readjustment of position you may want to consider a dual motor tilt in space chair where the backrest angle can be adjusted. If we now go forward again you can see that the tilt comes off and then the leg rest starts to lower and now we're back to normal sitting. If we continue to press the left hand button the chair now rises up as you can see now into a standard rise position. This particular chair, the Configura Light, doesn't have any adjustment of the rise angle like some of our chairs do, where you can make it rise vertically. This one is just the available in the one position. So now we're at the top of the riser function and now back down again. So there's really two key things to bear in mind with the single motor tilt in space mechanism. Backrest angle and seat base is fixed and the user has to have a good level of extension at the knees. And in this short video I'd like to explain how the dual motor tilt in space mechanism works which is available on the Configura Comfort Chairs and the Configura Rise and Recline. So on the handset there's four buttons. The top two are for the tilt and legs and riser and the bottom two are for the backrest recline. Typically you use the top two a lot more than we would the bottom two. So first of all then the first motor controls the legs and the tilt in exactly the same way as on the single motor tilt in space chair. So firstly the leg comes up and then when the legs are approximately 90 degrees the whole chair starts to tilt back. So now you have this position tilted position with the legs up. Now the key point about this is that the user has to have a good level of extension at the knees in order to have the legs raised as you see here. It's not possible to have the tilt on and then put the legs down. So the person does need a good level of extension. Now the second motor and the bottom two buttons simply controls the backrest recline. You can do this at any point in the process. You don't have to be tilted you can recline it wherever you need to and that's the furthest position that the chair goes to. Now if we come back in the backrest recline so that's the backrest recline right up. Now return to normal sitting as you can see first the tilt comes off and then the leg rest starts to lower until we're in normal sitting position. Now if we carry on holding that button the chair now goes into rise and as standard the chair rises up in a conventional way as you see here. It is possible to adjust the riser so that the chair rises vertically and you can see how to do this in other videos. But for now this is just rising up 
in the conventional way. So that's the top of the riser and then we'll go back down to normal sitting. So hopefully it's clear now how the single motor tilt in space mechanism and the dual motor tilt in space mechanism works and what the difference is between the two. The key difference to be aware of really is that the dual motor tilt in space gives you backrest angle adjustment but on both of them you need to have a good level of extension at the knees. Thank you.